Greetings Pilot and welcome to X4 Foundation's The Timelines DLC. Today we're going to complete Mission 6, which is called Against the Tide. This is another slightly longer mission, coming in at over 23 minutes. To unlock the mission Attack on Antigone, I need to earn 5 more stars over the next 3 missions. Which doesn't seem very complicated at all. So let's jump straight in and see what Eosoft has prepared for me. This is not good. End of transmission. Well, that is a great start being told that uh, it's not good and seeing a ship explode. But the first part of the mission seems simple enough. Just fly to the research facility, so let's go. Looking at the loadout of my ship, I have two forward firing Gatlings and access to 22 smart missiles. Got to remember that these missiles will only home in when you have a lock on a target. So although flares will break your lock, you need to reacquire for the missile to hit the target. So I've been informed that I have some laser towers, which is nice. I'll get those deployed as quickly as I can and hopefully I can use those to either thin the herd or distract the enemy. Well, I got those laser towers deployed with not a second to spare. Here comes the first wave. Well, that looks like a win for deploying the laser towers. But no time to celebrate, let's go and hunt down the other Xenon. Another Xenon down, but we only have 14 seconds until the next wave, and I still haven't cleared this one yet. Well, this is quite an exciting mission. We're having a proper dogfight out here with all the Xenon. I also have to admit in X4, I don't normally use missiles. I would much rather have a forward firing gun than rely on the RNG of missile tracking.
As you can see, the Xenon are getting regular reinforcements, but the astute observers amongst you will also realise that I am getting reinforcements as well, which is obviously distracting the enemy and thinning the herd for me, while still keeping it a target-rich environment out there. Yeah, that Xenon ate that missile. Well, that's a slightly bigger problem as an MPE. These missiles only tickle a PE. Maybe I didn't deploy my laser towers in the most optimal place. I'm pleased with that, two missile hits in a row. It is an interesting mechanic and a nice bit of gameplay. It is a shame you have to sacrifice so much damage potential to fit them in the normal game. The number of Xenon frigate reinforcements is increasing, so I think I'm going to have to thin the herd a little. Ah, so they get a Xenon Destroyer. That could be very interesting to take out. I definitely don't have the firepower in this ship. I'll just tickle it to death. What was that? What was what, recruit Donald? Comms malfunction? 
So this is quite interesting. I now get to switch ships. I get to jump into an Ares. Docking granted. Successfully docked. Well, those four laser towers aren't going to do a great deal of damage to a Xenon K. Ares feels sluggish and I've just realised I've got two of my weapons that aren't being used. I'll have to sort that out when I'm not in combat. Danger. An explosion, I assume from the research facility itself, has just knocked out all of my shields. Thankfully I'm not really under attack at this point. I'll need to make a little time to recharge my shields and alter my weapon configs. Well, that worked out nicely. I now have access to all my weapons and my shields are back online.
Well, at the moment I don't find the Ares very exciting to fly. The amount of shields it has is good, but this weapon setup seems to be a bit lacklustre. Its speed and manoeuvrability seem to be lacking as well. That Xenon appeared to have zigged when he should have zagged, but it's one less for me to worry about, so that's okay. Ah, I've realised that the blue lasers bypass the shields. That could be useful later on when I have to deal with the Zenon K. The research facility seems to have taken a fair amount of damage. It appears we've seen this before, sit in the Xenon's blind spot and then kill its engines. I am sat right next to the XL shield generator, so I might as well take them out as well.
the Aries didn't excel at dogfighting, but I feel that it's found its niche just here. Yeah, he seems to work very well at taking out the hard points of a destroyer. Well, that was an interesting mission with the dogfighting at the start and finishing by surgically destroying a Xenon K. And the cherry on top is achieving five stars. I'm very happy with the results and enjoyed completing the mission. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the other side.